Hello everyone, this is Leon Vanguard of Vanguard Smithing, and today I want to go over some quick troubleshooting tips and ways around some problems when drilling high carbon steel. Let's get started. Okay, so today I want to go over three major steps to get rid of all your problems with drilling high carbon steel. First of all, it's proper annealing. This right here is a piece of 1095 high carbon steel. And I actually, when I quenched this, I hardened almost the entire blade minus the tang at the very back right here. I think that drops from 1500 down to 800 degrees in less than 11 seconds hardens when dealing with any carbon steel that's above 0.5%. Now, I need to bring that, that, that hardness back down. So you see here, I torch the, the, the handle from here, bringing the torch up, bringing the torch up, and very carefully only hitting the spine along here to completely anneal and soften the handle of the metal. So as you're, as you're, as you're, as you're cutting, this stays nice and tough while this edge stays nice and hard. Now, while this is now soft and annealed, we can now drill it. But the problem you might have is, okay, you annealed your metal, or even your metal already came annealed, and you want to drill it before quenching. You drill around halfway through, and all of a sudden your bit locks up and burns out instantly. Just like your high carbon steel, if you bring any color beyond the blues into your bits, on your drill bits, they are no longer hard. They are as, as soft as the metal they were made before they were quenched. So the, the, we have some big important problems we have with keeping that bit from burning out. And with drill presses, it's all about your speeds and your size of your bit. Now I personally love the 1 8 cobalt drill bit. It is 1 8 cobalt. 1 8 and cobalt drill bit for using the Harbor Freight six speed drill press. Now, why one eighth bit? When drilling high carbon steel, especially in the center, we meet a problem called carbides. Now, whether your steel is annealed or hardened, packed in the center, we have what are called carbides. Those carbides are a structure of carbon and carbon atoms that are very, very hard. And if you try drilling through those, it's very difficult unless you meet very certain parameters. In this case, drilling speed versus drilling size. The Harbor Freight six, six speed drill press can only handle a 1 8 drill bit. Any bigger than as you try to drill, it's too fast. The bigger your drill bit, the slower you have to drill. Therefore, with the six speed, what was it again? 620 revolutions per minute. The largest bit you can go with is a 1 8 bit. Now if you get the 12 speed drill press, you can have some larger bits. And I'll try putting a, a link in the description later of your drill speeds versus your drill size later in the description. But for now, because I know we're talking about budgets a lot of the time, especially with me, we'll go with the 6 speed drill press. And then in this case it's 1 8. But don't get me wrong, I love the 1 8 bit. The pins look nice, they flow really well across multiple pieces. Here's another one. And one last one. So that 1 8 bit really looks nice. I like the way it looks, but also they're only $2 or less, $1.69, $1.70 a piece. So if you burn them out, if you have to break them, if you're just frustrated with a piece and you have to just burn it out, it's $2 versus a 3 8 $4 price range. And that really starts to add up over time while making several blades. But it's really important 
drill speed versus drill size. So if you don't know what, what the parameters are, please, please look them up or check the description later. Third of all, let's talk cutting oils. Now, I never understood personally why you want to use cutting oil while trying to cut something. Yeah, you're lubricating it, but why would you want to lubricate it? I couldn't wrap my mind around why would I lubricate something I'm trying to cut into? Well, it's because no matter how lubricated your piece is, the cutting edge, the front tip will always cut. What you're looking at preventing are two things. One, the side walls of your bit from catching. As you're spinning throughout your piece, the walls of your drill bit are touching the outside of the metal. And that causes friction, which causes heat. The lubrication stops the heat from building up because it's sliding along the walls better. If you're using a, a wax-based cutting oil, like this right here, You're adding a nice wax-based solution, and then I'll stay on the bit pretty well. But if you're really concerned about the chips not coming out and friction, and you really want to keep that bit cool, second problem. Dealing with heat buildup. It's kind of a cliche, but WD-40 works really well in this, in this situation. Anyone that has ever worked with blades or any kind of high carbon steel knows if you quench something in water in a second or two, it is now cool. So keeping liquid on there, especially spraying it while drilling, will keep that very small, very susceptible high carbon drill bit from getting hot. Keeping that liquid on there keeps it from heating up and also helps bring those chips out. So when drilling high carbon steel, Remember to use proper annealing techniques, drilling speed versus bit size, and cutting oil. I had a lot of problem drilling some high carbon steel earlier, and I had to do some my, my own research, and this is just a, another way just to kind of help you through your own stress <laughs> of drilling through this stuff. So if you have any further questions or comments, please put them down below. I always love to help, and personally, being a blacksmith is all about having mistakes happen and finding ways to go overcome them. These are my three steps to overcome them personally. If you have anything better, please let me know. <laughs> I'm always looking for better options. And if you want to support my channel, please check the description below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Have a good night.